31, I had a question coming out of section 5.8, number 37. And here we were given a, a variation problem. So some buzzwords that we see going through here. Um, let me switch colors here. I see y varies jointly, right? That's going to be a big one, as the square of x and the square root of z. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll piece that together in just a bit. But I got square of x versus square root of z. And here comes my ordered triple. I can see it, right? I see a complete set of or a, ugh, a complete set of information. I've got an x, z, and a y, right? I've got my ordered triple. And then you can see I'm, I'm only given two of them. And I need to find that third one. So with that all being said, let's piece this together. I'm going to do my work down here. So it says y varies jointly. Now, if you hear jointly, you're going to, it's going to imply that it's multiplied unless it specifically says inversely. Because yes, joint variation, and let me write this here, joint could include direct only, right? It could include inverse variation only, or it could include a combo. All right, and the thing is, I see the jointly up here, but I don't see anything about an inverse relationship. So what I'm going to assume is that we're just doing direct variation only. So I'm going to use multiplication. So I'm going to have my k times, and I'm, I need to do the square of x, but the square root of z. So that's my variation equation, or my general variation equation I'm going to use. And then let's go ahead and use our ordered triple here, that x equals 2, z equals 9, y equals 24, and plug it in. So I'll put 24 here. Um, for x, I'm going to put 2 squared. And for z, I'm going to put, this is nice, square root of 9. They gave us a nice number. So I'm going to get 24 equaling k times 4 times 3. So I'm getting 24 is equal to 12k, and that's telling me k is equal to 2. Okay, so with that, what I can do is instead of writing this general variation equation, I can make it more specific for my problem. So y is equal to 2x squared times the square root of z. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in 3 and 25 and see what I'm left with. So this is going to be y will equal 2 times, all right, my x was 3, so I'll square that number. And then I will take the square root of 25. So I'm going to get 2 times 9. And then the square root of 25 is 5. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. I'm going to look at, I'm going to combo these two first. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 9 is 90. And that's where I'm getting that my y value is 90. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.